Warning, motorsport is a dangerous activity. The events you're about to see were filmed in a controlled environment under the supervision of professionals. Do not attempt to recreate or reenact anything you see on this show. Welcome back to Off-Road Addiction. I'm Caleb Thompson and I am loading up my Polaris to go play in the mud tomorrow. Paul's going to join us. We're heading up to Possum Palace. Many thanks to Ben Blythe and the Blythe family for uh, allowing us a very last minute change of plans and we're going up there for the night camping and we're going to see just how well the Polaris Turbo and the Polaris General do off-road in the mud. With the weather changing our plans, we packed the truck, we loaded the Polaris Turbo and made our way north to meet up with Paul and then on to Possum Palace. Well, quick strop check and we're out of here. Time to go hit the mud. After meeting up with Paul at the gas station, we got fueled up and grabbed a feed for the long drive up north. Well, as we do here in New Zealand, we get a pie for breakfast when on a road trip, staple diet in New Zealand. It's uh, albeit not the best one I've had by any stretch of the imagination, but it's got steak, mince, bacon and gravy and cheese. And they're pretty damn good. Well, we've just jumped off the tarmac, made it to the gravel road, which is a good sign of good times coming. Uh, we've got about 18 kilometers of gravel roads to go, and uh, we're looking forward to getting there, getting off the trailer, and getting covered in mud. Uh, now, it's about a three hour drive, towing a trailer north of where we live, and it's quite a nice drive, quite scenic, go through some nice farmland, etc. And now we've got, obviously, this beautiful gravel road to contend with, and uh, once we arrive, we shall be there. Yeah, that makes good sense. I'm you know, bloody glad that once we arrive, we'll be there. The drive up there takes you through some pretty scenic areas with spectacular views of nothing but farmland. It sure makes the drive a lot nicer, and these windy gravel roads are pretty fun to drive on too. We have arrived, Possum Palace, got Captain Impatient here, he wants to go for a drive real bad. So what we're going to do, go find a campsite, set up camp, and uh... I find a campsite, it's what I do best. Yeah. No, I'm pretty good at it, because I like sitting down. And the bear is cold. Seatbelt for safety, mate, and so we can go over 25 kilometres an hour. After a three hour drive north to Possum Palace, we unloaded the Polaris units and had a quick look around for a good campsite to set up for the weekend. This seemed like the perfect time to have some fun in the tow vehicles and get some mud on our new tyres. Didn't need that piece anyway. Now it's Paul's turn to see if he can get through in one piece.
You didn't just get out driven by a plastic truck, did you? Yeah, literally, a plastic truck drove around you and left the plastic behind. Ah, yeah. Well, we thought we'd get a little bit cheeky and um, leave them at road pressures considering we literally just come off the tarmac and we're just going to head out to a campsite. And, uh, not so much where if we aired down we'd have the traction we need, but if we aired down he'd lose the height and he's hung up on his tow bar on the tree at the moment, so... That one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> the uh, plastic fantastic made it through, missing some plastic at the end of it, but she's all good. Good excuse to get a new rear bar on it. Uh, so I'm just going to back up and give Paul a nice winch. Right, recovery's made easy. We love our Duraline soft shackle from Trail Gear and our flat leg expert from Factor 55, which Paul runs on the front of his rig. Safety first when doing this. Always make sure everything is hooked up properly. Never, ever, ever let me see anybody hooking up to this, ever. It is a death trap. Do not ever put anything on the tow ball. You might think, yes, it's rated for pulling two and a half, three ton, but it's not rated for sheer loads. Don't even put a winch line on it, and especially do not snatch off it. Always, just in case, put on your winch blanket. Ready when you are, mate. I'm in drive, ready to go. Okay, did you want to just take a little bit of the uh, slack out of that one? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That'll do you. I'll take it up from there, thank you. Alright, it's coming under load, mate. I'm going to start driving and winching. Do the business, mate. Off-Road Addiction TV is proud to be representing some of the leading brands in the industry. Please make sure you support the guys that support us. It's not going to be a big heavy pull, so I'm just going to hook it onto our uh, standard shackles there. We've got the rough stuff shackle receivers welded on there, and we worked really hard to make sure that those were going to stay put. Not that this is going to test it, but we'll get our Factor 55 Ultra Hook hooked up. As easy as that, hooking up, so obviously if anything was to fail, not that it will, it'll just drop straight to the ground there. But we've got the winch dampener, so that'll keep everything nice and safe. And I think he's actually going to plug in his receiver now so we can actually uh, winch. Well, we tried the Bluetooth option, that didn't work so well for us, so let's hook up the remote and see if we can get somewhere.
Yep, just had to locate my radio. Yep, we are good to go. You can resume or start winching. Excellent, because it's not the best smell in here, eh? Put all the windows down, mate. It'll um, blow your smell out. <laughs> I had the windows down when I went in the hole and I couldn't get them up fast enough. They'd change gears. <laughs> You've been in there so long mucking around, your wheels are actually um, starting to dry. The mud on your tyres are dry. Maybe I should just drive out then. It'll be like concrete. I will just leave you there, mate. Um, so yeah, start winching when you're ready, mate. Yeah, winching in now. Slow your wheels down a little bit, buddy. This traction control is cutting in and out at 1500 RPM and like completely killing my wheel speed. Your front wheels are literally plowing through it, so just keep a little bit of wheel speed on. I am trying, it's not the happiest. Yep, no, you're good as gold. You've got a good little bow wave in front of your back wheels there, and um, your plastic fantastic um, front guard is quite chocker. That's right, mate. No dramas, it is plastic. Right, let's go find us a camp, eh? We'll go back down to our spot. Hang on, babes. And try not to get stuck on the way, eh? That'll be interesting. Just hit it with some pace. Just feed it! Thank you. Now that we had some mud on the tyres, it was time to head back up to our chosen campsite and set up camp for the night. With Paul's rooftop set up, it was really easy to get the tent and awning set up and with all our Red Arc gear in the back of the trucks and the solar panel set up, we knew we would be powered up for the weekend. We were able to charge cameras, run the fridge, run lights and even hook up the PlayStation and the wireless internet for some late night entertainment. Off-Road Addiction TV is proud to be representing some of the leading brands in the industry. Please make sure you support the guys that support us. Once everything was prepped at camp, we jumped into the Polaris General and the RZR Turbo and headed out to explore the property some more. There's over 500 acres to explore, so it was time to go and find some cool tracks. We couldn't resist going to check out some of the Winch Challenge tracks from previous competitions held here there are some pretty nasty tracks with massive ruts and steep hills that are pretty challenging, even with the toughest winch trucks. So naturally, we had to give it a crack in the Polaris General and Razor Turbo. Thanks to the Razor Turbo's wide wheelbase and lightweight body, it was able to tackle some of the most insane tracks with no problems. Whereas the General, being slightly smaller and having a little bit narrower wheelbase, struggled in places, but also just did a phenomenal job getting up these tracks. It was a blast seeing where we could get these units to go. It was great fun cruising around the property and seeing what kind of tracks we could find. It's been a long while since we've been up to Possum Palace and the place has changed a lot. The General and Razor definitely got put to the test and got covered in mud thanks to Paul and I being fearless in our entries into the mud holes. plenty of power and I was all good until all of a sudden we hit here and my recovery hook just dug straight in and then got deeper and then went all the way here and it's um, in here somewhere so Ooh. I'm just um, gonna dig my way out. Paul had to recover himself to get out of the rut so that he could go around and try and winch me forward 
but we decided to go backwards is probably going to be the best option. So I'm just uh, digging out some soup. My favourite! Well, we've had an awesome day playing in the mud today at Possum Palace. There's absolutely nobody here. We've had the place to ourselves. Many thanks to Ben for letting us come up here last minute. This is how my office looks at the end of the day. Carved, just like myself. A bit of a mud bug, mud cricket. Live for playing in the mud. And this is the state of it at the end of the day. Very, very thankful to have a roof on. If you see how much crap is actually stuck on that roof today, it's a pretty good deal, really. See, I'm absolutely stoked with this thing, and the places we have put this thing today, not a lot of people will believe we've been there, driven that. If you're in the market for a side-by-side, -side, definitely go and talk to your Polaris dealer and take one of these or one of those for a spin. If you're not in the market and you jump in the passenger seat or the driver's seat, you will soon be wanting one of these. We're taking these things through tracks that competition vehicles have to winch through and we're driving them. And that upsets them a little bit. So uh, we have a lot of fun, it's great. Anyways, you guys get back to the footage and I'm gonna go clean up and sit down around the campfire. Well, that's um, another day where I've pretty much shown the Caleb the way. I did actually get stuck a wee bit, um, namely just down to having a little bit smaller tires. Um, Always had the legs, just didn't have the ground clearance. But it's a trade-off, you know, this thing's insanely stable. I actually had it ramped up on a uh, bank before and just pretty much having a giggle about the fact it's not gonna fall over. And that winch, honestly, has pulled pretty much a whole fully suction down Arzaga, um, right out of those tracks. People look at it and they sometimes think it's a bit more of a farm machine until they jump in the passenger seat or see it in action. You know, it does have the tip tray and it does have the two inch receiver for obviously towing trailers, which you can tow up to almost a ton and it will do it all day long. It is just such a fun machine. With the sun going down, it was time to finish setting up camp, bringing out the brazier to get a fire started and get stuck in to making some dinner. Nothing flash for dinner for us, mate. Literally, steak, bread, and sausages. We didn't, didn't come out here to get all fancy. We came out here to get all covered in mud and have a good time. So um, thanks to the power of Red Ark, we've got the Wi-Fi, which we brought from home, running on the top of the Navara. We've got the PlayStation hooked up, and we've got a TV screen hooked up. So Paul's sitting back there playing PlayStation, I'm burning some sausages, and we're having a damn good time out here. Looking forward to tomorrow where we're gonna get back out in the mud and hit some more tracks. You know, we've got uh, about 500 plus acres to go and play in with plenty of tracks. That's so we're gonna get back to the uh, PlayStation and internet, burnt sausages and steak, and we'll catch you guys in the morning. Coming up on the next episode is part two of our Possum Palace camping trip. 
There is plenty more Polaris wheeling to be seen, so stay tuned and do not miss out on all the mud flying action. They do the job, man. They absolutely tear the shit up. And it's a pretty sick colour being orange, eh? Yeah. Orange things are cool. Hang in there, ginger kids. Life gets better.